Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at Crossway's new guided annotating edition of the Greek New Testament produced by Tyndale House, Cambridge. Okay, so my guess is that if you're watching this video, you are probably at least a little bit of a Greek New Testament nerd. Whether you're a scholar, a professor, a student, a pastor, you probably love the Greek New Testament and are interested in something like this. If not, if you're not one of those things, you, you can still watch this video for sure and check out a beautiful edition and see the New Testament in Greek, which is really cool, but probably more for that first group of people. So this is the latest edition. There have been several editions of the Tyndale House Greek New Testament produced over the last few years by both Crossway and Cambridge. So Tyndale House Cambridge is not the same as Tyndale House Publishers here in the United States who published the New Living Translation. This is a research house in the UK. They produced back in 2017 a new edition of the Greek New Testament, um, juxtaposed against something like the Nestle Alon critical text, um, the NA28 we often call it because it's the 28th edition. Not the same as that. There are some key differences. They talk about that in this book, in this option that you have in front of you. So this is the most recent one produced by Crossway, the guided annotating edition. So yes, it's guided. There are book introductions. There is some help along the way for those of you who are studying the text, translating the text on your own, working with the Greek New Testament. There's some really interesting things that they do with this edition to kind of help you and guide you along the way. Also annotating, it's beautifully laid out with generous margins, lots of space between each line. So you can literally write on the pages, write down your notes, make your translation. It's very beautifully done. So the guided annotating edition of this 2017 edition of the Greek New Testament from Tyndale House, Cambridge. It turned out beautifully. It's big. It's massive. It looks absolutely great. I'm going to do an overhead video now and show you everything that this Bible has to offer. First quick note, this does come with a really nice um, slip case. It's like a hard slip case. So you can slide this in and protect it. So you can either put it on a shelf and slide it in there, or you can leave it on your desk, but it's just a nice way to protect it. There's the book itself. Nice kind of hard cover. It's kind of got like a faux texture to it, which looks nice. Greek New Testament on the spine. There you see it says guided annotating edition. Exact same thing on the cover. This looks really, really nice. It's very, very big. This is seven and a half inches wide and 10 inches tall. It's not quite the size of a full uh, piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 over here in the States. That's our normal standard size. And then it's almost two inches thick. I have this measured at like 1.75, 1.8 inches thick. So let's open this up. Very nice synthetic in sheets. Some blank sheets of paper, big, old, white sheets of paper in here. Lots of them, actually. And then you get into the thinner Bible paper. It's so the title page. It says Greek New Testament. Here's the information about uh, the folks at Tyndall House Cambridge. Editors, associate editors, the textual notes, and things like that. Um, it does have book introductions as well. So then we get into here, and this is your copyright page. So you see 2023 by Crossway. Okay, then we have a contents page, some tables that are going to be found throughout the, the, the text of the scriptures, a foreword from Dirk Jonkind. I think it's Jonkind. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Dirk, if you're watching this. Um, an introduction, so you get information about this edition, including the introduction. Uh, Intro about the book introductions, the main text, um, the footnotes for the infrequent lim lemmas that are used. Um, lots of just information about this. Um, glosses, footnotes for confusing verbs, the glossary, surface forms to lemmas. I'll show you that chart in the back of the Bible. And then we get a preface to the guided annotating edition. Contributors, a lot of information here. Some great scholarly work on this. Abbreviations. Okay, so let's just start with the Gospel of Matthew. So you see here, we'll just kind of, actually, I think I put a little note in here. I just skipped to John, that's fine. I put the little ribbon in here so you could see that it has a nice thick ribbon, very, very long. So opening the Gospel of John, it starts with significant vocabulary for John. So you get the Greek word in the left column and then the definition in English in the right. 
After that, you get a reading guide for the Greek text of John. This is part of the entire introduction, so it's giving you some guides along the way. I like that, particularly for those of you who are students who are trying to read it for the first time. And then you do get some comparisons between the Tyndale House Greek New Testament and the Nestle Alon, the NA, the 28th version of the critical text. So they kind of highlight some of the differences between their text and the critical text, and then they give you a chart with select differences between the two as well. And then each uh, introduction ends with cited resources as well as suggested further reading. So these, if you want to do a deeper dive into this book of the Bible, um, this particular section of the Greek New Testament, here's some great books for you to check out. Some look like they're commentaries and things like that. And then you get the text of Scripture. So this is the first page of the Gospel of John in Greek. Notice the wide margins around the page in pushing out from the gutter. Notice the really great space between the lines so that you're able to really uh, take your time and you can write right on the paper of this Bible. Nice single column design. It really helps you um, uh, Take your time and really dig in, right? You have space to work with the text, to highlight things, to underline things, to parse things out. However you want to use this, you have that. And then down here at the bottom, you have some of the more infre... I think it's the less frequently used um, words down here at the bottom of the page. So that'll give you some definitions of those that you might not be familiar with. Then it goes pretty straightforward. That's like what the entire thing looks like. Single column, the bottom half of the page or the bottom portion of the page has those words at the bottom. And then each book has um, an introduction. So if I go to, let's see here, Romans, we're going to get a very, very similar thing. It starts with the significant vocabulary. You get into the reading guide. This one's a little bit longer. Then you get into comparing the Tyndall House New Testament and the Nestle Alon, and then the cited resources and suggested further reading. Every single book of the Bible has that, and then you get this generous kind of, I think this is very inviting, right? Um, I don't have, I, I took some Greek in seminary, my Greek is rusty, it's not nearly as good as it should be, so this would be a fun way for me to kind of uh, wrestle with the Greek text in a fresh way. Um, I have some some good softwares. The folks at Logos have, have given me the setup with them, so I have some, some power lifting I can do with that, but it's nice to spend some time uh, with the text itself as well. So when we finish Revelation, that's, it's, again, pretty straightforward and simple. When we, when we look at it, it's just the guided part at the beginning of each book, and then the layout of the text looks pretty similar straight through. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that this is a 10 and a half point typeface for the Greek text of the New Testament, so it's really easy on the eyes. I'm sitting here at my desk looking down at it, and it's very, very comfortable uh, for me to read. You have a couple of different uh, indexes here at the back. First is surface forms to lemmas, so you're going to get the little arrow in between. There you see that. And then after surface forms to lemmas, we have a glossary. So in the glossary, you get the Greek word, you get the part of speech, and then you get the definition. So you have a full glossary back here as well. At the end of the glossary, a couple of blank sheets, and then you're done. A very, very beautiful edition that, that I think was a, a, great, a great study resource um, for a lot of different people. So there you have it, the guided annotating edition of the Greek New Testament. Is that not beautiful? Just the way that they did that and piece it all together, it really flows well. It looks nice. I always ask the question, is this Bible right for you? I think two things come to mind. If you are a student of Greek, whether you're studying in seminary or Bible college, this gives you the help you need and the space you need to really dig into the text as you're studying it. So I definitely think it could be a useful tool for those of you who are students. And then definitely for pastors as well, particularly if you are a pastor who likes to kind of work with the Greek text a little bit. And if you have space in this Bible to write things down, to, to jot down your notes as you're preparing your sermons, those sorts of things, this is a great kind of heirloom library desk piece that I think a lot of pastors would, would find some use for. So I will put links in the video description to where you can purchase a copy of this. I'll also put links to my social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram. So if you're not following along, please come find me and say, hello, look for pictures of this. I'll post that on those accounts. And definitely before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of great Bible-related content right here on YouTube. Thank you so much to Crossway for sending this to me. It's beautiful. I love the way that it turned out. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. 